should be a good lizard day, we hope. And we've got lots of eyes, so if anybody spots a lizard, please stop everybody and don't run up to it because it'll, it'll be gone before we get a chance. Yeah, there's two of them, yeah. This was designated a lizard walk. So we're looking for lizards and you never know what you're gonna see when you come out here. Our plan is to go down from here to Lower Sabino Canyon where the dam is and, uh, and back. So it's about three miles uh, and uh, uh, probably a couple hours. The naturalist stuff is my life. Well, I'm a retired dentist and I also have a PhD in oral biology. So uh, when it came to doing naturalist things, uh, it kind of came natural to me. Oh, he stopped moving there. Oh, there he is. I see him moving. Okay. Tiger whiptail here. Probably a female. They're, they look very similar, the males and the females, but the, the females are, are smaller. The males have big, heavy uh, heads and shoulders, so they're just bulkier. You can tell the adults from the juveniles because the juveniles have blue tails. And when they're very small, they have iridescent blue tails. Lizard walks happen the first Saturday in May, in June, in September and October. And sometimes we also do them first Saturday in July and the first Saturday in August. Because that's when the lizards are out. <laughs> That's a zebra tail. Uh, if you get the right angle, uh, behind the front leg is uh, there's vertical, two vertical stripes. That's a side blotched lizard, and it's a female. Uh, the blotch is there's sort of a black spot behind the front, behind the front leg. When you see a whip tail, the, the length of the tail is uh, greater than the length of the body, actually, part. Uh, these guys, the tail is shorter. Uh, they may look a little bit like a whip tail, but they, these are ones that will go on rocks, and we, he's on the rocks. We as humans are endothermic, so we can control our own body temperatures by our metabolism and so on. Lizards can't do that, or reptiles in general. Uh, so they are ectotherms because they rely on the, their environment to uh, warm them up or cool them down to control their temperature. And they do a pretty good job of it. Okay. Yeah, just below the collar, I've got sort of my finger on them. Put it down. So the second one down, the one below the collar, uh, is a zebra tail. And I think in the photograph, you can see these behind the front leg are two black vertical bars. You could decide you want to learn the Latin names of them, uh, or maybe not. I mean, it's not, what's important is that when you see one, you, you know, you feel it, you get excited about it. He's an odd looking ornate tree lizard. <laughs> so maybe we'll see some other ones that look a little bit more like trees. If you want to get into lizard watching, go to a place such as Sabino Canyon, where you know there are gonna be lots of lizards and start looking for them there and also look for them in your own backyard.